Harris here, and today we have a lesson on substitution. Substitution is where we're given numbers to plug in or substitute for the letters in an expression. And then we're asked to evaluate it, and you, you get a number. You get an actual answer. So take a look at our substitution problem up here. We have given a equals 2, which means every a will equal 2, and b equals 3. Evaluate a to the third power plus 2ab minus b squared. So what we'll do first is substitute our numbers. I'll rewrite this with parentheses for the numbers to put in instead of the letter. So let's do that. We will have the a to the third represent by a parentheses instead of a to the third. Let's put a parentheses there because we're actually going to put a number in there. Plus 2ab, but I'm putting parentheses in instead of the letters, minus b. So we know that a is 2. Anywhere I see an a, I'm going to put a 2. And uh, we'll get that to be a little darker. There we go. And anywhere we see a b, we'll put negative 3. And let's bring down the square from that and negative 3. Okay, and now we will work it out. And be careful with signs. There's always room for sign mistakes, so you want to be very careful. Let's do our, all of our exponents first. We have 2 to the third power, which is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8 plus. I'll just bring this down to 2 times 2 times negative 3 minus 3 to the second power, minus negative 3 to the second power, looking at this, just the exponent, negative 3 times negative 3 becomes positive 9. But notice there's still a negative that came down on the outside. That stays. Now I'll do all my multiplication. Bring down that 8 plus 2 times 2 is 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 minus a positive 9, that's by itself. And so right now I'm really just left with addition and subtraction. I could simplify this as 8 minus, because I have a plus and a minus, 12. And again, unlike signs, a minus plus you could do key change, change, but no matter how you look at it, this ends up being a minus. Uh, you could think of it as minus 1 times positive 9. It's a minus 9. So I have 8 minus 12 minus 9. I go from left to right at this point. 8 minus 12 is a negative 4. Minus 9 more is negative 13. We end up in negative, but that happens sometimes. And that's how you use substitution to evaluate an equation where you're given what the letters stand for.